The southwest is at its best during springtime. Not only are the wildflowers out, but there's plenty of shore-based fishing options. Now when the wind blows here in Denmark, which is where I'm standing, a place they call Anvil Beach, it's a top little spot because there's plenty of protection both sides by the rocks. And the rocks actually create these formations you see out in front. The waves crash over the main reef and create these big holes and gutters and the surf surges right along and that's where fish feed. So it's really easy to fish. Look at my rig. A pyramid sinker to hold in the surf, a dropper loop with a little hook, that's as easy as it is. We cast out there into the deep bits, catch fish. Out in front of me is a sandbar extending from the back of the reef and there's a lot of waves coming over. And it's not a tide that you can see rushing, but the actual runner from the current. I've got my polarizing Maui gyms on so I can actually see where to cast and it's just to the right of that sandbank. Bite, bite. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he's gone into the rocks. Come out of the rocks. Go on, come out of the rocks. I'll let him swim and see if he takes it out of the rocks. He's grabbed it and as Broom do, they tear off with it. And see, I let him go and he came out. But he's got off, has he? No, yes, no. Yes, we've lost him, but that's how you get your gear back anyway. Oh, no, no. He just doesn't know what's going on. He was swimming with me then. This current's just so hard to predict, and have a look at that. That's only a little one, but that's a tar wine. Not actually a silver brim. We don't really get silver brim here in Western Australia. That's what's called a tar wine. They don't have the elongated snout, just the bump head, and they get a lot bigger than that one. But there's a good start. 23 centimetres they have to be, and he's only about 18. Yes. Oh, here's a nice little fish. <sighs> Gotta be nice and red in the legs if I actually fall over on this stuff. This little rod, these fish really fight hard, regardless of how big they are. I can't even see it yet. Where are you? Oh, it's a tar wine, and it pulled the hooks right down here. Wow, that's just ordinary fishing by yours truly. Yes, well, let's see if I can make up for that last one. That got away. It's not the easiest spot in the world to land a fish or do anything, to be honest. Here we go. That's got all the makings of a silver brim or tar wine, as they're really called, of course. And it is too. Or is it? Well, look at that. There's another fish that we give the wrong name to. We call them a buffalo brim here in WA, but they're actually a silver drummer. A weed eater, ordinarily, and a hard fighter. Look at that. Tiny little mouth, those teeth too. Little weed grabbing teeth, that's all. Very tough fighters when they grow bigger. Usually hard to catch, but not here. Yeah, it is a tar wine, look at that. Beautiful one too. It's not easy getting past that current. And have a look at this. They are pretty when they get big. Let's get that hook out of him. Oh, you've got that, haven't you? Now the tar wine actually feed in the surf. And you'll find them in Perth during winter. Now, they generally feed on crustaceans and things that they pull off the reef. And they are really quite a pretty fish. Have a look at the yellow fins. They're quite different to the black broom that you'll catch in the Swan River. And 23 centimetres, he'd probably be legal. But we'll pop him back anyway. Yes, that one just sort of snuck along and grabbed it off the bottom. And he's gone into those rocks and 
I'm stuck in the rocks. Come on, get, swim out, swim out. Got him out. Okay. Oh, gee, they fight hard, these things. They're absolute brutes compared to the size that you, you sort of see a little fish like this, you don't realise it's going to go so hard. And here he comes, and that's a nice one. Look at that. In the sun. Tough stuff. Hey. And I've lost my sinker. Thanks for that. You're expensive little fish, weren't you? Well, in Denmark, the Tarwine in the last few years have absolutely just been in play proportion, so anyone can catch them off a rock like this. That's Anvil Rock out there. Ask the locals how to find it, and I'm sure they'll tell you where to come to catch some Tarwine just like this.